to my channel. So if you are into bags and especially long shop, then you will love my channel. So hit the subscribe button. And if you want me to bug you almost every single day, then hit that little bell so you are notified of all these videos that I like to do. So today is the day, you guys. I'm ready to do it. I got all my bags. Everything has come in. And we're ready to do this ginormous Longchamp haul. I am super freaking excited about this. And to get to share this with you guys, it's going to be really cool. Everything is in their dust bags. They're all tied. Um, I mixed everything kind of around, so I don't really know exactly what's in the bag that I'm grabbing, except for this one, because it's the biggest one. You might be able to see it. Can you see it through there? It's pretty sweet. This is really cool. It's I like it better in person than through uh, like pictures and stuff. Okay, so we're just going to go with it. I'm just going to start grabbing the bags and un unveiling them, I guess, to you guys so you can see. I think there's like 25 items in total, something like that. So quite a bit um, of things. All right, and pretty much everything, almost everything is from the uh, Longchamp uh, store in Chicago, the Rosemont Fashion Mall store in particular, actually, and uh, Jose Miguel. Jose, hi Jose, I know you guys are watching. Hi Kevin, I know you're watching too. Hopefully Max is watching. And Jessine, who else is at that store? I'm not really sure. But hello, my Longchamp crew in Chicago. Um, all of this would have not been possible without you guys. So thank you for your help in uh, getting me my shit. <laughs> so, yeah. If you guys, okay, really quick, let me tell you, okay, let's have a chat for a moment. Not all of these bags are going to be available. Some of these bags are available still. So if you want a particular bag here that I'm going to show you guys, call the store, um, let them know that I sent you there, and they will try to get you these bags that I have as well. You're not going to be able to get all of them, but there's quite a few that I have that are still available for you guys as well. You just have to call and tell them that I sent you, and then you will get special treatment, and they will get you a bag like this, because I actually know they have another one of this one in stock at least. So that's all you have to do. Um, they may not have the exact color, but they probably most likely have the style, um, maybe in just a different color, and you can always ask. So without chatting any longer, I can't even see what my time is at, like three minutes already? Let's just open this up. Let's open this guy up. I think I'm gonna use this one tomorrow, because it's freaking like, I don't know what's the cool word, like baller or something, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this, you guys, is the biggest bag from this haul. And, well here, let me make sure. Can you see see this a little bit? I am so freaking excited about this. Isn't this so cool? Okay, so you guys, you know what this is? This is actually the a Jeremy Scott bag. So, Jeremy Scott, He'll design a bag for Longchamp every year, so there's a whole bunch of different ones. And this one, I actually passed on it previously uh, at, during my last haul or visit, I can't remember exactly, but I passed on it, and then I thought about it, and I got it this time instead. Because I really liked it, because the only other bigger Longchamp bag I have, it's that kind of, the fantasy polka dot one that's got the the crossbody strap on it. I think that one's a little bit bigger than this one, but this is actually a fabric. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera, but this is not nylon. It's actually like a, like a, it's fabric. It's a fabric bag. And there's the bottom. So it's really cool, right? So it's got the brown leather trimming. And then I'll show you the inside too. And this is all made in France, of course, as well. Something kind of cool, in case you didn't know this. All right, so if you look at this side, there's nothing on it. This side, there's a little hole right there. See that? Because you can actually use this as a travel bag. And you can purchase a Longchamp lock. And you go like that, and you put the lock through the little slit right there. And then you can lock, this bag can be locked. So you can lock it. So if you're wondering, or if you've seen one of these before in person, and you're not sure why there's a hole there, well, that's why. <laughs> to lock your bag if you're traveling or something like that. So you can do that. And then let's open it up, because I don't remember what the inside looks like at all. I forgot. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a minute. Okay, it's like beige. Okay, so here it is. I wonder if I hold it close, you can see 
Can you tell it's not nylon? I don't know. You guys are able to just hit the thing. But this is fabric. Let me hold it really close. Is it showing? I don't know. But this is this is fabric. It's not a nylon, which is really cool. I really like that about it. And then the other side, it has a little bit bigger of a pocket than the normal ones here. And this plaque on it that just says Jeremy Scott for Long Shop. I don't know if that will come in focus. Yeah, you should be able to see it right there, right? So that is Jeremy Scott for Long Shop. It's a pocket right here. So just a big pocket. Came with a care booklet, of course. Which, what does it even say inside? Let's see. Textile trimmed with cowhide leather. So that's what it says. But this is a bigger pocket. I like this pocket a lot. And there we go. So there's our first bag. And I know there's a whole bunch of different Jeremy Scott ones. I really did like this one though. I thought it was just really unique and different and very fitting for me, right? <laughs> it's very fitting. So I'll do a comparison video between this large one and then that Fantasy Doubt one that I have, as well as my large leather one. I will also do that uh, for you too. So there's that bag. So cool. I love that. And be careful, watch out for knockoffs, you guys, because the replica people are knocking these off too, because they're more expensive. They're, they are more expensive. They're not like a cheap bag, but they're worth it with this like fabric. I just really like it. Uh, so. All right, let's move on to the next one. I have this giant dust bag. I was gonna tell you something, no, I forgot. I like already forgot what I was talking about. What was I gonna say? I was gonna tell you something and I totally like glazed over and forgot what I was talking about. I think there's um, gonna be a sale coming up too. For what's coming up? Columbus Day maybe? Something like that? So there may be some kind of sale, I'm not really sure. All right, let's go on to Oh, gosh, I don't even know what we should do. What should we do, you guys? Should I just do these, like, let's just go with these. How about that? Like I said, I didn't plan this. I didn't, like, really plan this out very well. So let's do this one. I know what this one is, because this is the last one I received in here. This is super cute. I've been wanting this color since I saw it. I've been wanting this bag because of the color and the hardware is really cool. I love it. I'm totally into it. Uh, it's so cute. Oh my goodness, you guys. Seriously. Look at how adorable this is. Like, for real. And this is the Heritage. And oh, there's like fuzzies from the dust bag. And it has this dark kind of gunmetal hardware. See that? Isn't that cool? And it's like a burnt orange. I really am digging it. And this is the small one. So this is in the small size. It does come in a larger size. And I don't think they have any more of this one in this color. They may still have a yellow one, and then they have a yellow one and an orange one, last I knew, in the larger size too. So if you want it, call and they'll um, get you that bag if you really want it. But don't wait, because they don't have like a lot of these bags, you know, when they come in. And it's pretty cool, just like my other two that I have. I have uh, the... Oh gosh, which other ones do I have? Like the one with the horse hair on it is the bigger version of this one. This is the smallest one. But it's the same concept, you just push down here and then this opens up right there. And it's all a metal, it's a metal inside of there too, so it's not any kind of plastic. And this is really very thick and very sturdy. And it's you can see it's all screwed in and everything right there. It's not like it's a cheap, like, there's no plastic, it's all metal and leather. And this is like a Safiano leather too. I don't know if it's, yeah, you can tell. So it's really durable, scratch resistant. And then the chain here, so this is the chain. Half of it is the leather and it is adjustable, okay? And then it has the dark kind of gunmetal detailing there. And I'm like totally obsessed with this gunmetal color and this orange. I think it looks really, really good together and I love it. So it's a great little small crossbody bag. And there we go. Bag number two. Super cute. Okay, you wanna see the inside of this too? I better show you. It's like a leopard kind of print there. 
and it has the one zippered compartment right there. So get a good peek like that. And there's a pocket here. So there's a slip pocket right there. And then the zipper there. And the main compartment, which fits, oh, I was gonna show you too. It fits the phone totally fine. So here is like my phone. And it just fits in there just fine. Just to give you an idea, this is like a perfect going out uh, bag, really. It's so cute, I love this bag. Oh, there's plastic on this still. And I'm just gonna leave the plastic on it. I'll leave it until it kind of falls off. Okay, I'm actually gonna put this, I'm gonna keep the chain in there, I think, how I had it. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna roll that back up in there. And we're gonna set this down and get on to the next one. I don't know why I'm talking like that. What's wrong with me? All right. I have a lot of dust bags here. Okay. Um, this one here. I don't know what's in here. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, this is heavy though. Oh wait, I think I know what this is. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let's get it out and look. Okay, yes, this is, this is something. <laughs> this is, okay. There's stuff inside here actually. This is like a kit. It's in the like the kind of textured uh, pebbly type leather. I don't even know how to pronounce it. With the zipper here, metal zipper, and then it opens up to that stuff inside, which is um, there's a little dust bag in there, so that's cuteness. And then inside here, it looks like there is. I have no idea. Actually, I haven't even looked at this. I don't even think I looked at it in the store. I just said, I want one. <laughs> I said, I think I just even told me, I said, just pick one of them out and send it to me. Okay, so this is like the cloth. Okay, this is like a Longchamp cloth. It's cute. It's really soft. That's cute. Totally cute, right? It's super soft. It's like extra micro, micro fibery. Okay, what else is in here? There is this... Oh, black. This is like noir, so it's like black polish. Okay. And then this one is the whatever, I guess the white one. And then this care booklet, which is probably for just the bag. Yeah, cowhide lined with textile. And then there's this. What is this? This is like a thing. I'm pretty sure this is to like put on your shoes, right? Is that what this thing is? That's like for your shoes, right? Oh, it, even, it says launch up on the end of it right there. That's cute, isn't it? Okay. Well, all right. Oops. And then I have a brush. Is this a brush? What is this? I don't even know what this is. I, I, I don't know what this is, but it says Longchamp on it. There. I think this is like soap or something. Some kind of soap, maybe? And then it came with this thing here too. This like... Oh, it says Longchamp on that also. The bristles are soft. I think these are for shoes or like boots or something. Okay, and then that's just the inside. I'm gonna use the pouch as a catch-all. I actually really like this, this is a good size. It's it's a little bit bigger than my domed ones that I have of, of this. I like this one. Yeah, because it's a little bit bigger, and I like how the, I like the opening and everything of this. Where's this one made? Let's see, probably China. Wait, I can't. No, it's made in France. Well, look at that, that's cool. Oh, and it has the horse on the back there. Okay, let's put all this back in here really quick and then we'll move on. So I think this is called like the shoe care kit or boot care kit or something like that. I'm pretty sure. But I think you can use some of these things for the bags maybe, I don't know. But it's, I basically bought it for the pouch. I don't remember how much it was though. Maybe 
$200 or something like that, I think. 200 for this. All right, moving on to the next. Okay, this, we'll go with this. And I think I know which one, okay, I know, I think I know which one this, yeah, I do. I can, I'm feeling it. Yep, okay. So the next one is right here. And this guy is the, it's the small Paris Rocks crossbody bag. And I think this is red lacquer. I think this is the color. I think it's red lacquer. It looks like red lacquer. I'm, I think it is. I think that's red lacquer or some kind of burgundy, something like that. It's coming off a little bit burgundy. It kind of matches those the artwork back there. So this is really cute. I like this one because it's, I like the rivet things in the front and it's a small, like lightweight kind of crossbody with a, it's got a flap here. Okay, so this is neat. You know what, I didn't even try this on or really even look at it. I think I just took a picture and said I wanted it. Okay, there's the inside with that print. I actually kind of like that print though. It's kind of cool. And the, it has a chain strap. Well, this is a thick strap. Look at this. I did not know that. Look at that. It's that kind of dark gunmetal again. I'm into it. Totally into it. And then the top part, it has like a, like this, with like the rivets on it. This is cute. Too bad it's not adjustable though. Yeah, this is really neat. I like this. Yeah, it's really lightweight. I think the, the chain's heavier than the bag. All right, let's see what the inside looks like though, because I don't even know. Okay, it looks there's a zipper pocket. There's one zipper pocket there, and then the other side there's it's just there's a slip pocket right there, and it's collared in the leather. So there's that. Where's the maiden tag? Let's see where this one was made, because I don't know. Morocco and the care booklet yeah, this the interior of this feels like it's almost you could like um, like a wipeable lining okay so this is oh this is lambskin trimmed with cowhide line and textile hmm I did not know that I did not know this was lambskin well wow. that's interesting Huh. I guess it is like it's really soft. All right. Well, there we go. Should we? Let me try this on. I kind of want to try it on. I didn't try it on. My right, hair. We'll do this. Okay, this will work, right? Well, not like. Okay, I can't like back up anymore. Yeah, actually, thank God it's not any shorter, or we would have had problems but we're good. We are good with this. It hits just the right spot. I like that. It's a flap. You can just flop it open and get in there and it's magnetic. So cuteness, cute, cute, cuteness. Love it. I know they have more of these too. They have more of these there also, you guys. So if you want this, I know that they had a couple more. Um, I gotta fix my, my hood now. I should have thought about that. I should have wore something else because I'll probably try on a couple of these bags. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, so this is the yeah. I think I already told you the the Paris Rocks, the small Paris Rocks um, crossbody bag. Too bad it's not adjustable. That would have been cool if they made it like adjustable, where you could have it as like a short shoulder bag. That would have been cool if they would have done that. I mean, you could get creative and kind of double it up, I think, if you really wanted to. But, all right, let's move on to the next ones. This is exciting. Because <laughs> I don't remember half of this stuff. This is a problem, I know. Cuteness. All right. Um, let's go back over here to this one. I... I don't remember what this one is. 
I don't remember. <laughs> it's like totally ridiculous, right? Oh my lord, Jesus. Okay. Yes. All right. Here we go. It's this one here. And this, you guys, this is another crossbody. And I think they call this the Long Shop 2.0. I believe that's what it is. The 2.0, 2 I think. I'm pretty sure. Long Shop 2.0. This is a pretty blue. You know what? I think this matches my other bag that I got. It's, I don't know where it's at. It's in one of the... <laughs> You'll see it in a little bit. I like this. This is really cute. I think this is a smooth, like, um, I think this is smooth cowhide. It kind of feels like my Honoré bags. Oh, this is, oh, it's got a pocket in the front. That's cute. I'm digging that blue. And then there's the back. Okay, let's get it opened. Let's open it up. I like this zipper, too. It's like, um... It's nice. It's metal. It's gold and it's metal. I like that. Okay, so the strap is inside. Let's take it out. And, okay, this is kind of like, okay, I need to adjust the straps. Okay, inside there is a couple, two little slip pockets and a zip pocket. All right, so there's the zip pocket in the back there. And then on that side, there's two, slip pockets and then this pocket. I like that. I wonder if my phone will fit in the front. Let's try it. Here? No. Well, you could do it like that. <laughs> but it won't fit sideways. But it'll fit inside. So it's in there. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's see what the material is. I don't remember. Yeah, cowhide line with textile. That's what I thought. It's a nice pocket, too. It's a good sized pocket back there. And it's not all loose. Everything's nice and tight. I like it tight. Okay, where's this one made at? <gasps> is this made in France? It is. Yeah, this one was made in France, too. Sweet! That's pretty awesome. Okay, let's adjust the straps and try it on. Let's do that. Hopefully you guys like this. Hopefully you like me. That's a smooth zipper too. I'm digging that. That is nice. So it looks like it's adjustable on both sides here. So there's a buckle here and then on that side a buckle as well. So let's adjust it and then try it on. I like this. I like this. I like that everything is so different, you know, that I've gotten. Okay. This feels like sturdy hardware too. It's like, you know, this feels really solid. It's probably solid brass, I'd imagine. Jose, is it? Jose? Is it all solid brass? Hardware? So that was easy to do that. Let's do the other side. I'm putting on the longest setting, by the way, and I'm 5'9", if you're curious. So you can see where the longest setting hits on me and my height, so I'm 5'9". I'm trying to be careful, I don't wanna, like... And that makes it nice because it kind of rolls, actually. I like that. You know what, I should have brought a drink down here. I need, like, a beverage, I think. Okay, cool. This is cool, I'm into this. I just gotta zipper this. Okay, and just let that hang there, and there we go. I got both sides on the longest setting. This kind of, what does this remind me of? This room, you know what? This is the shape. This is the shape of a couple of my um, Michael Kors collection bags. That's what it reminds me of, because it's like this size. That's exactly what it reminds me of. I think you would know, my Julie, I think the Julie one, my, yeah, Michael Kors collection Julie bag, the one with all the studs on it, it's really cool. Okay, well here's that. Let's put it on and see. Okay, this hood is like in the way. We might have to take an intermission and get, so there it is in the longest setting on me. And it's like sitting on top of my hood, so it actually can go a little bit longer. Uh, okay. 
There we go. Cute, okay. Thank God it hits me right because you know what? I don't think I really tried anything on. I think I just freaking bought everything because I'm crazy. So there's that one. I am going to just set this over here by Mr. Jeremy Scott and let's go to this one here. What's in here? Um, I think I, okay, I think I know what this one is now too. Let's get into it. Oh, okay, yes. This is really cool. Um, let me take it. It's kind of in here tightly, so let me just let me just work it out here. Actually, let me grab the strap. Okay, here we go. You guys, look how pretty that is. Oh, the color looks really cool on camera. Doesn't that look so cool on camera? The color. It's like a brown. I think they call it mocha, maybe? I think it's mocha. And this is the uh, Penelope, the small Penelope crossbody in the Python um, like pattern there in mocha. And it just it's just this front part here. And it's like a Python. I really like it. I think it's like almost suede-like. It's cool though. I really like it, yeah. Because these tassels here, these are suede. So these are suede tassels with that, like, yeah, so this must, this is suede. This is like suede. And then it's all like the smooth, probably calf leather or cowhide, one of the two. We'll read it. And they're hooked on the side here. And I believe these are adjustable. Yeah, they're adjustable. So I can make this a little bit longer too. But I think it's probably a little bit more finicky because of that kind of adjustment. You can move that down to here to make it longer because I'll have to do that actually. This is a pretty, pretty color. Yeah, this is definitely like brown. Cuteness. So this is the Penelope, the Penelope crossbody. Oh, let's look on the inside. So it's just a magnet here, like that. There was no pockets on the back. So let's get into this and take a look at it, because I have it. Okay, so here's the inside side of this and what is this okay we have a problem Jose we have a problem okay I'll be calling you actually I think I'm just gonna text you right now we're gonna have to exchange this Jose it's made in France too dang it I don't know what the, what is wrong. Okay, I'm just, see? Look at that. Look at this. Do you see that? I don't know what is going on there, but that is not cool. Okay. Jose, I'm texting you right now. One moment. He's gonna be like, oh my god, watching this later, you're gonna be like, oh my god. I'm gonna send him pictures. Okay, sent. He'll take care of it, and I'll just exchange it. I don't know what that is. That's weird, right? I don't know. I can't figure... It's like dripping. I don't know what the heck that is. It's bizarre. You know what it looks like? It almost looks like... 
glazing that's like dripped or something. That's weird. That's very weird. Okay, well. Anyway, okay, sorry about that, you guys. I just wanted to take care of it immediately. Split calf skin trimmed with cowhide lined with textile. That's what it says the material is. So, yeah. We're just gonna set this one to the side in the exchange. That way over there, that means you're going bye bye. That means you're being exchanged. Okay, move on. This one here um, is, I don't know. I don't know what's in here. <laughs> so let's find out. How long are we at? How long is this video? 30 minutes? Okay, I think we're doing pretty good. Are we? I might have to take a break though. I might have to take a break and go get like a snack or something. Okay, this, oh, okay. I remember this one now. Okay, this is another crossbody. The Longchamp 2.0 crossbody, and this is like a red color. Well, more it's more like um, like a cranberry. I would say this is definitely like a cranberry color. Here, let me hold out the Paris Rocks one next to it because you can tell the difference. This is more like a cranberry, and then see, this is like more like a burgundy color. Okay. And this is. Is this adjustable? No, I think that's just how. Oh wait, yes it is. It's adjustable right here by this buckle, right there. Okay, so we're gonna adjust that. I remembered I like this because it's really tiny. It's really cute. It's basically like, okay, so it's these basically two main pockets and there's two zippers on the top there. And then it has a front slip pocket right there as well. So it's just a small front slip pocket and it's lined in that material. And then the zipper pockets. I don't know how these straps are gonna be. This might be kind of interesting. Here, let's let's make it on the longest setting. Is it? Wait, it already is. It is on the longest setting. So let's try it on really quick and see. Hopefully it's long enough. It looks quite a bit shorter. Let me get my hood out of the way. Okay. Okay, it's, yeah, I think without the, it, the hood is kind of in the way, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, this is fine, it's really lightweight, I like this, this is cute. You can get right in it, it's got these nice zipper pulls, and they're smooth, these are smooth zippers, love that. Okay, let's take this one off now. My hood is like, <laughs> causing problems. Okay, we gotta readjust. Okay, let's open this one up. I actually really like this. This is really cute. I like this color and these zippers are so smooth. And each side has this leather um, zipper pull right there. Okay. And the inside of pocket number one. Right there. Is the maiden tag in here? No. Maybe it's in the other pocket. So we'll just stick that back in there for now. Because I'll probably keep this one stuck like that because this is, um, it's a little bit softer. So I want to keep its shape. Okay, here's this side. Oh wait, this side has a slip pocket too. And there's the tag, okay. So here's this side. And then actually on this side here, there's a little slip pocket right there with the care booklet. <laughs> which says, cowhide lined with textile. And then this one is made in, oh gosh, I can't see, it's dark in there. Okay, this is like difficult, I can't like see anything. Forget it, it's made somewhere. It's totally fine though. This is cute. Cuteness, cuteness, cuteness. Yeah, these zippers are nice and smooth, I like that. So the Longchamp 2.0 little itty bitty crossbody. That's perfect for going and running errands. And I feel like this is like a durable leather too. I know it's like a smooth leather, but for some reason I feel like this is, it's a dur, it just seems like it's durable, you know? Cuteness, all right. This one looks good though. I don't think there's now I'm gonna be checking everything to make sure there's no 
other weird stuff going on. That's just really bizarre. I don't feel like, yeah. Okay. I know, Jose, you'll take care of it. Everything will be fine. You'll get me a new one. All right. Let's move on to this one over here. And this is, oh, I can, I can tell by this right there. I know what this one is. Okay. Yay. All right. Here we go. I'm going to get this strap out here. And let's take it out. Pretty, 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 pretty crocodile. So this is the crocodile um, roseu <laughs> in the black. So it's the crossbody. We're getting like a lot of shine from the lights and stuff, but it's like a deep, deep black. And then it has a um, chain kind of detail there. Oh, I have this bag. I have this bag in the white and now I have it in the black. Okay, now this is like stuck. Okay, we're good though. I just had it scrunched up in that little bag. So this one is on the longest setting as well, but let's take a quick tour. So it's croc embossed. I think it's calf leather or cowhide embossed. I'll read the interior, but super cute. This is a big, this is bigger. So it definitely fits a lot. Great every day, kind of run around shopping bag. And then this has got a nice uh, magnetic kind of button right there. And this is heavy. This is like, you could hit somebody and knock them in the head with that horse bit thing. And so same thing, it's just, it's exactly like my white one. It's identical actually. So there's the inside of it, that same lining, which I really like because it's just like neutral. And this one is made in France. And it has two slip pockets back, I don't want to bend it too much, back here. There's two slip pockets on that side and then the back wall has got the one main zipper compartment, which probably has the care block inside. So let's read it. Cowhide with crocodile pattern, trimmed with cowhide, lined in textile. So that is what we got there. And yeah. Oh, we need to try this on, don't we? Hopefully you guys like me trying them on and it's not bothering you and you're just like, I just want to see the damn bag because we're doing it. Okay, let me look this over though, make sure it's good. Okay, I think we're good. I think everything lines up fine. Yeah, we're good. We're good. It's all good. Okay, here we go. Here's this one. So perfect spot right there. And now I have my black one. Cuteness. Okay, there we go. Love it. I really like the black. It's just very nice. It looks really good. All right, moving on. I think I'm going to have to yeah, this is gonna take forever, you guys. I'm gonna have to do a two-parter. I don't think I can, it'll take so long to upload this video, so I'm gonna have to do a two-parter, especially because I know a bunch of you said you wanted me to go through the bags a little bit more, kind of how I am and trying them on and stuff for you. Hopefully you guys like that and appreciate it. So I'm definitely gonna have to do a two-parter, I think, because there's a lot. I mean, I got all this to do. Oh, and this one over here too. <laughs> so let's do this. You know, we'll finish up with this. This is what we'll do. We'll do this, and then I'll do these two little ones here and we'll take an intermission. I'll probably change my shirt, the sweater, so I don't have a hood catching. So here's this one. And okay. Okay, hopefully this one's okay. <laughs> Let's find out. I'm hopeful that this one is okay. This is the Penelope crossbody. So the small Penelope crossbody. And this is in like the olive color. So it's suede, suede, and then the tassels are all suede. I really like that other one though. Damn it, I wish the inside wasn't all weird. I'm gonna be, I need to look over this guy. I don't know what that is. 
That looks like somebody's makeup or something. I guess some freaking girl was touching it in the store. Bitch. Okay. Okay, it looks it looks fine though. Everything else looks fine. Okay, let's get inside of it. Make sure oh gosh, I hope the inside of this one's okay. I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay, there's not that weird dripping thing. Okay, this one looks fine. And let's see where this one was made at. Let's look. China! The one in China. Of course, this one is made in China and it's totally fine, and that other one was made in France and it's not fine. So, see, just because it's made in France doesn't mean it's gonna be perfect or any better. This one's made in China. And there's no drippy drip drippage. So there's the inside. It's got the zipper pocket there. And then the front part there. There's actually two slip pockets right here. One and two right there. So let's read the care booklet. All right, cowhide trimmed with split calfskin lined with textile. So that's what we got going on there. And I did do a video, by the way comparing the Chinese made to the France made Longchamp bags, which there is no difference, just so you know. There is no difference. And like I, I mean this, you just witnessed it. This one was made in China, the other one was made in France, and that one is defective. And this one made in China is not defective. And just so you know, their factories, I guess in China, are like super nice. They're like super, super nice. Um, they don't even call them like factories, workshops. I think they use the term workshop. It's not really like a factory. It's like a leather workshop for these people. Okay, so here's a quick spin around. I'm going to have to elongate the strap. I can put it down. I think one more thing, I think, right? Can I? I think they can. Yeah, I think I can make it go down one on each side and it'll be longer. But let's try it on really quick. And there we go. Actually, that's not too bad right there, even on a shorter setting. I got get fuzzy on me. Okay. So even on this um, shorter setting, it's fine, actually. Yeah. So there we go. Cuteness. All right. I do like the olive green, though. But out of the two, that python one, I like it. I kind of am favoring that python one, but I can't keep that. I have to send that back and get an exchange. Cute. Really, really cute. I like this. This this is like, it feels really nice and like well made. All right. So there we have it. The small Penelope crossbody in this olive green color there. So let me set this one in the... Everything over here is good so far. Okay, where are we at? 43 minutes. Let's do... Let's do these little ones here. Okay, I got two... Two little items here. You can probably guess what they are. So this one here is... Oh. This is the... Longchamp Amazon bracelet in this brown leather and on the back it's just like that raw leather there with a little horse and jockey there so this is really cute and here's like the buckle it's got a little leather detail on the end of the buckle right there super adorable i love it love it right super cute super super cute So yeah, let's put it on. Let's just put it on right now. Why not? Let's put it on and see what it looks like. I don't know what setting I needed at. Probably. Well, we're just doing this for now, just for a moment. But there. There we go. And then, in this little baggie here. We have this one, which I had to have this one. Of course, I had to have it. 
because it's red. It's that cherry red, and I love my cherry red. And this is the uh, Cure um, bracelet. So with the red lambskin there and the medallion here with the, the red um, enamel in there. And then on the back, it just has the horse and jockey thing right there with the raw leather. So this is cute too. Let's put that on. Quickly. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of like half-ass do it just to show you. So there's that one. You kind of see there, right? Cute, really cute. I like the red a lot, but you guys know I love the red, especially this cherry red. It's like awesome. I'll probably wear this one tomorrow, actually. Okay. All right, let's take that off for now. That's gonna go in the jewelry area. 45 minutes, I need to take a break. I need, I need liquids. I need liquids, okay? So let me go take a break, change this out, and I'll be right back. So yeah, you guys hold on, keep it tight. Talk to you later, bye.